What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I'm still in Kauai. I wanted to do just a little bit of a different setting today. So we are uh, in my hotel room and we're going to be talking a little bit about Ron DeSantis. He's going to be talking about Social Security. Does he support a Social Security increase? And like always, when we talk about politicians, I want you guys to give him a letter grade from A to F when it comes to how he responds to a question on Social Security. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime you post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. And you can also follow me on threads at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so first I'm going to show you this clip, and then we're going to talk a little bit about this. Listen to his response when it comes to Social Security. It actually sounds good, what he's saying, but when you dig a little deeper, you're going to find that he's really not saying much. So let's go ahead and play the clip. Here we go. A couple of issues you've said that Republicans are not going to mess with Social Security, but as a congressman, you voice support for privatizing Social Security and raising the retirement age to 70 for future seniors down the road. What made you change your mind? Well, I've always said promise made, promise kept. I'm a governor of Florida. Of course we're going to protect people's Social Security. Uh, my grandmother passed away when she was 91. That was her sole source of income. Yeah. And that's true for millions of seniors. And so that, that goes without saying. So when people say that we're going to somehow cut seniors, so that is totally not true. Uh, talking about making changes for people in their 30s or 40s so that the program's viable, you know, that, that's a much different thing. Yes. And that's something that, that I think that there's going to need to be discussions on. But, um, but that's just the reality in terms of, in terms of where I've been, so I don't think it's necessarily a change. And in terms of privatization, what I always said was, you aren't going to be able to offer individual accounts because there's no Social Security surplus. There used to be massive surpluses, yeah, and the thought was, if you let people divide, now that's gone. Now so that red. is totally not on the table. Yeah. We got to make sure that we preserve it for our seniors because they depend on it. Okay, so there was Ron DeSantis. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what he was saying. So he first started off by saying that we're not cutting Social Security. We're going to protect Social Security for seniors. That's what he said. Now, he went on to say that people in their 30s and 40s were going to have to make some changes or we're going to have to at least talk about making some changes. So there will be cuts to Social Security, according to him, because he says he wants to make changes for people with 30 and 40. It, privatizing Social Security, that's off the table from what he was talking about, which that portion of what he said, I agree with, because we do not have a surplus. And so it would be a huge risk to go ahead and start investing money from the trust fund when there's no surplus. When we had a surplus, that was different, because you can invest money, you can afford to gamble a little bit when it comes to an investment, uh, when it comes to Social Security, but now you can't afford to do that because all the money is being spent. So all the money that's coming in from the payroll tax is being spent, as well as the money that's sitting in the trust fund, it's being spent to offset what the payroll tax can't pay at, the, at this current time. So I agree with that portion. But when it comes to cutting Social Security, he's not saying much. Sure, he's saying he's not going to cut it for people who are seniors right now, but people who are 30 and 40, they're probably going to see some cuts. When it comes to raising the full retirement age, he didn't address that question. However, by his non-response, I'm thinking he's for raising the full retirement age because in the past he's been for raising the full retirement age. And actually in the past, he's talked about privatizing Social Security. So this is really funny to me how he's now coming and he's saying, you know, we're not going to do this, we're not going to do that. But in the past, he has said that he is in favor of those two things. So we're going to have to see where it goes from here on. But he did not provide any plan. He basically just said we're not going to cut Social Security, but he didn't talk about what they're going to do for those people who are 30 and 40. How are you going to fix Social Security? How are you going to reform Social Security? He also made no talk of expanding Social Security. We're, we're listening to politicians. Some politicians are talking about expanding Social Security, providing an increase for Social Security. He didn't say anything about that. All he said, protect Social Security for the seniors, and if you're in your 30s and 40s, we're going to entertain making some changes. That's all he said. So in the future, hopefully we'll hear a little bit more from Ron DeSantis when it comes to Social Security and what he really wants to do, especially for those people who are 30s in their 30s and 40s. 
And then what about the people in their 50s? Are you, are you including those people in with the 30s and 40s? Or are you including those people in with the seniors and you're not going to make any cuts to their social security? So I wanna know what you guys think. So give him a letter grade in the comments below and I'll do a follow up video and I'll show you what my grade is as well. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.